Joe Biden and the White House administration should really be listening to today's podcast, and I hope they are. Marcel Otto, thank you very much for joining us today. Today's got, we're having a fascinating conversation, I know, in anticipation, really unpacking the importance of electronic record management. And we all have seen what's been happening in the news. We understand what's happening around you know, Joe Biden taking classified documents back to his house and things being discovered and, and all, yeah. all those, those elements behind document management. Right. And Rico is a, the forefront of one of the leaders in this space. Correct. We're really, really interested to hear what you have to say. We're really had, interested to hear more about DocuWare. Mm. So thank you very, very much for joining us from Rico. Mm. And as the um, Digital Services Product Manager for Rico South Africa, welcome. Mm. Thank you so much. Thanks, James. Um, yes, I think uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here. And um, yeah, I, I agree. You know, I think when, when we get into more detail, you know, I think often we see on platforms like Carte Blanche, redactions, you know, records management, all these types of things, which we, we will get into more detail. Um, I definitely think, you know, with the security measures, even our own government in South Africa can hopefully fast track and actually start implementing this type of technology as well. Um, yes, yeah, so thanks Brilliant. for having me. It's a privilege for me and uh, um, to represent Rico South Africa, a digital services company. Um, it's, it's very... Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity, and I'm grateful to be part of such an amazing organization and to sit here today and represent Rico. Fantastic. And I, and I love how you're, one of the, the principles behind what you're doing is actually positioning Rico as a digital transformation expert in order to transform the African continent. That's right, yes. Tell me more about that, please. Mm, sure. So, yes, you know, um, like uh, most companies that uh, specialize in technology that's probably looking like it's becoming redundant. You know, you don't want to be another Kodak case study, um, if you're familiar with what happened Absolutely. to them. So, um, and Rico has been obviously visionaries in looking into the future and future-proofing the business and uh, transforming into a digital services organization. So, um, you know, we're actually far ahead, and it's not just that we're transforming now into it, it's actually globally been um, part of what Rico has been been working towards um, probably for the last 10, 20 years already. So, um, you know, within IT services and uh, um, digital industries and solutions uh, that we're providing, for example, in the UK, we've been providing cybersecurity to Vodafone for 20 years. So, um, but, uh, you know, just bringing it back to our specific portfolio on digital service, yeah, please. digital services that, um, that we specialize in is uh, basically um, digital experience, and then a, a digital workplace, business process management, um, cloud and infrastructure services, and then the cybersecurity. Okay, so, and what's your part in that portfolio? Yeah, so I'm basically the product manager for digital services for South Africa. So, um, you know, looking at the uh, portfolio and within each of those elements of our portfolio, there's uh, various um, solutions and software services that we specialize in. A lot of them acquisitions of uh, Rico. So Rico has also been acquiring businesses globally, um, including DocuWare, which we're talking about. Um, so a couple of years ago, and uh, and you know there's even penetration testing companies with cybersecurity and all these other digital services. So I don't think we have enough time today to go into all of that. <laughs> I wish you did. But um, there's you know it's it's a it's a it's quite a wide, um, but. Um, uh, perfectly positioned um, value proposition that we take to our clients. Fantastic. And can you just explain how exactly is DocuWare, which I want to understand and unpack a bit more, but how is it positioned in that portfolio you've just described? Yeah, yeah so um, if you look at, and w when we get into DocuWare, it will make sense uh, or, or more sense that um, actually when you touch on all of those, you know, DocuWare has got elements that depending on the approach and depending on the requirements and how you look at it, could probably touch on and relate to all of those elements as well. But um, like in business process management, if we have to talk around that, um, workflow being uh, one of the main features of DocuWare, okay. uh, digital workflow automation, um, you know, task management, uh, all of that related to business process management. Um, when you look at your cybersecurity uh, uh, angle of it, you know, the security standards on DocuWare and everything around it, what you mentioned, records management, access rights, um, mm -hmm. All these types of things that come into that, and you know, just peace of mind. You know, with cloud, uh, specifically like Azure type of security mm -hmm. that you that you get with ISO compliance and these types of things, to give clients peace of mind. 
permissions, access rights, order trails, um, you know, version control, all these types of things um, is also covered in DocuWare. And it's a digital experience. Uh, it's, it enables you for digital workplace. Um, it's a cloud. You can relate it to a cloud service because it's, it's although there is an on-prem offering of DocuWare okay. as well, um, the cloud offering where we were doing about 80% on-prem 2019, we're now doing 80% cloud. It's switched. So it's okay. switched completely around. And it's great to see South Africa is adopting to it, but it's actually become a no-brainer. I think, you know, like my um, mother-in-law, who was, uh, you know, she was very skeptical in starting to use banking apps and things like mm. that in the beginning. Mm. and uh, But now she's, I mean, she's, she's doing all the... Uh, the WhatsApp and the social medias and the banking and everything on the app. And I think South Africa in the same way in the beginning was skeptical about cloud. Where's my information sit sure. on? What is cloud? But I think with peace of mind and with all the other benefits that come with it, um, the cloud has taken off um, great um, in a great way that uh, with all those benefits to the clients, including, you know, I think a massive implication of the on-prem was where we now spin up a system in the cloud within a couple of minutes on-prem installation could take days to weeks Longer. just on yeah. specific modules. So, so that's very, very interesting. And I want to understand from the, the, the conversation, you, it sounds like you're e explaining different organizations and industries that might benefit from using DocuWare. Are, where, where does one start? Is it, is it industry specific? No, that's, I think that's definitely a great question. Thank you for that because, um, you know, that's the flexibility we have, that it's not a one-size-fits-all. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's also not, not a set solution that um, like a ERP system with a specific functionality um, where you have to adapt to the system. So um, it's not a one size fits all. And bringing it back to industries, we've got clients um, so ranging from four to thousands of users okay. in all industries. So, you know, there's from your transportation, we've got great clients in transportation, likes of Imperial, 4PL and Amaqua Wines to think of a few. Um, you know, in the legal industry, from litigation to conveyancing, um, depending on the requirements there, uh, processes within that. Um, so and I'm uh, going to ask you to use some practical examples and hmm. some successes in a bit. But sure. let's actually unpack, and especially for our listeners who are very keen to understand, I think I'm hearing a lot of the, 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 the benefits of DocuWare. But what exactly is DocuWare? Sure. Okay. So, yes, um, I think the best way to explain it, and in a nutshell, is if you look at Gartner, which are, uh, most yeah. people, especially in technical or technology industries, are very familiar with. Um, you know, Gartner, p a few years ago, it was still classified as uh, ECM. So ECM um, could be referred to as electronic or enterprise content management. Yeah. So, um, you know, enterprise content management itself consists of basically um, your document management and then business process management. So within document management, there's a lot of elements that basically um, uh, contributes to a document management system. Although, you know, nowadays we don't just look at documents, it's yeah. content of all sorts that you need to be in compliance yeah. with. CCTV footage, so you need to be able yeah. to support any file formats. But um, within the document management side of it, it's basically, um, you know, your um, advanced document processing, structuring all your unstructured data, and especially when it comes to records management, like South African um, national standards, uh, um, for those who know, the 161752 is a compliant um, records digital records management system um, that can cater for 161751, okay. which is basically your file plan for your organization. And that goes through document classification, your retention, the user roles and permissions and all of that. So mm -hmm. there's no point in having a system that can cater for it if you, don't, if you haven't performed your first function of um, creating your file plan. But okay. once you have the file plan, then you need a system compliant to be able to manage your file plan with access rights and permissions. And that's where Joe Biden and the people can, you know, there's... Benefit. Yeah, so because you can set it up with certain policies and procedures yeah. to ensure that no document leaks. I'm getting off topic a bit there on that, but I'm just relating it back to that. Um, but then, um, so, you know, with document management still, you know, there's... Um, so many different tools within that, but specifically your retention period. So a records manager, for example, to manage a company's records according to a file plan, mm. 
-hmm. We'll never have control over it because it's so vast and, and can get so complicated. But once you've put it into the system, the system starts managing that for and you. And my guess is you guide your clients in that journey. Yes, that's right, yes. Yeah. So that's where we experts in the field and uh, where we do that. So that's um, so on document management, you know, you've got mobile app access um, with permissions and uh, you've got um, relations between documents. But there's also a lot of uh, machine learning, inte uh, artificial intelligence tools that okay. automates a lot in that portion, especially like document processing. But I think when we explain maybe features of document, we'll get to that. Yeah. So just on the, uh, and then the business process management and workflow, which um, I think we've touched on on the other side. But nowadays, Gartner refers to um, specifically where document fits into the magic quadrant as content services. Okay. So it's, I think it's about two, three years ago, they started um, the change to content services and the criteria to qualify as a content services platform is for a ECM system yeah. to be able to act as an integrative middleware. Okay. So integrative middleware basically to enable digital transformation, you need all your systems to be able to talk each other, even legacy databases. Mm. And so you need to be able to cater for integration, um, you know, access APIs, whichever yeah. web services ways to be able to get there, where DocuWare is really strong with as well. Okay. And so that uh, touches on the importance of digitizing, digital transformation, we used the word earlier, but also optimizing a process and modernizing a process that arguably falls foul of a lot of human error quite often. Correct. Um, you know, we, we, all, we all know the old-fashioned filing systems. When, when, how, how does that relate to the benefits to an organization in terms of efficiencies, cost savings, and, and other? Yeah, so, you know, it's life-changing. Okay. And, and that's... It's really, that's why it's, it's so great to have such a great product and also the expertise in our team and yeah. to, you know, to be on these journeys with our customers. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I can mention an, an example, a recent customer I met with, uh, Pushpanda at KMP Media, um, when you walk into his office where he's got a massive desk, a couple of screens, where it used to be um, just paper everywhere. Yeah. where there's absolutely no paper when you walk into his office now. Amazing. Um, you know, time that it took to process through the paperwork, finding a document. If you go into a filing cabinet mm. trying to search for a document, if it's misfiled, yeah. there's a chance you'll never find it, and that could cost you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if, it's a, if it's, a, for example, a medical record, um, and because uh, uh, one of the projects I worked on before was a mining uh, company that closed down, and they needed to digitize their records, um, especially medical records, which they need to keep for 40 years um, yeah. uh, uh, for compliance so that, you know, um, if uh, an ex-staff member comes with some uh, complaint mm -hmm. against it for his health that, wa that was affected, they need to be able to have the evidence. And if so they don't have it, basically the case lost type of thing. So, but, um, so the benefits are endless. You know, the, like you said, the manual data capturing time and then the mistakes, and then rectifying the mistakes. Yeah, opportunities. Can, can go into months. and Change cost. And, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. time savings. You know, it's not to replace people all the time. I no. think uh, people do get nervous sometimes but um, about that, but it's actually uh, for the person to become an assistant and to be as productive as possible. And, as, um, yes. And make better use of, the, of their time, arguably. That's right, yes. Well, um, some more practicalities. So how do you, for instance, use DocuWare? Um, for myself, uh, so, you know, it's, there's pre-configured solutions within DocuWare. Okay. So um, one of the um, ones that I use in marketing, I'm based in a marketing department, is uh, basically any document that I bring in, it's got the machine learning capabilities um, to do intelligent indexing when, where they basically starts classifying and looking at this document and recommending to me what it is and extracting the relevant information to yeah. index it automatically in a folder uh, structure um, or if there's a, a workflow that needs to be initiated from a document that is received by me for someone to be notified of it and get a copy of it to perform actions. Okay. So for me, it's basically um, a, a document repository with, um, you know, just accessing my content securely from anywhere, uh, sharing the content easily. Um, yeah, and even Int internally and externally. Um, yes, yeah, so it, it, it depends on, on uh, yeah. you know externally. Uh, you can export to email and send it out externally in such a way, uh, but uh, you know in a more governed way where you have your order trails and your access rights. Okay. For example, if I share a document 
and uh, another user in the company doesn't have access to that document, even though I share that document with them, they wouldn't be able to access that document. Interesting. Um, and uh, without getting a permission okay. to get access to that document. And um, yeah, so I will be able to see all my content and what I have access to in the company, but not necessarily what another person might see in another department. Um, so yes, it's it's just you know it's it, for, for me it automates um, and uh, a lot of my manual indexing and searching for documents. I think one of the uh, very basic features of it is that you can in your normal Windows File Explorer, for example, if you're searching for a document or for specific um, content on a document, you can only search on a file name um, mm -hmm. and a folder name. But because the documents are um, basically uh, uh, converted through OCR technology, optical character recognition, you can search on any keyword in, on any document and you will find it within seconds. Okay. And uh, you've that, got that in that front of you. search function is very useful. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. That, that's yeah. super to know. And, um, some more successes and accolades. Uh, I, I know that DocuWare has recently been um, awarded an incredible status, which yes. we'll talk about in a second. What are sure. some other practical successes you've, you've experienced recently? Yeah, so, you know, if I can mention a good example of a, an implementation mm. um, at a client that's life-changing is, um, you know, so one of the other pre-configured solutions in DocuWare is called invoice processing. Okay. So, um, and I, th I think I'll maybe come, come back to just, you know, the pre-configured because although we mentioned there's pre-configured, you can also, we've got a blank canvas where we can customize any process according to requirements in any business and any department as well. But, um, for example, with the invoice processing, if you look at your accounts payable side, um, we've got mining supply companies, mining, uh, mining companies themselves, and uh, then uh, also transportation. Um, you know, and accounts payable is something that's common in most businesses. You know, you've got bills to pay. Um, and uh, so, basically, what ERP or accounting systems offer, you know, from your largest um, and, and, and global um, ERP systems and accounting systems like your SAPs and your, all the flavors of Sage and your ACPAC and SysPro and yeah. in this case Omni, for example. Um, uh, there's a, although that is a, is a great accounting ERP system, um, there's still manual work that happens um, with outside of that system. So, yeah. for example, um, you know, if you look at users on an accounting system, not all people has got access and a user license to that system. So when a purchase requisition, or if they refer to it to a request to order, it could be from a site um, um, elsewhere, uh, there's normally a tedious initiation to get that process started. So sometimes we just start by giving an e-form to initiate that process yep. that everybody's got access to on their mobile phones or laptops. And then that basically, instead of having to um, type an email or print out a document and fill it in, um, and then send it through to the to the office to uh, get the requisition approved first, perhaps by a site manager, and then by uh, another um, manager or mm. um, procurement manager. Uh, we basically start digitizing it there to eliminate and get better data quality from the beginning. And then you, you basically look at okay, there's elements where you might st where you obviously then in your process, if you need to issue a purchase order, you'll issue that purchase order in your accounting system. The normal procedure with out digitizing um, your business process in that case would be to print out that document, and that's the start of your document packed together with the rest of the paperwork you have. Okay. And then that paperwork builds up as you get your invoices and your delivery notes um, from your suppliers. And then that needs to be married up, and there's a manual reconciliation that takes place with your purchase order to your invoice and your um, delivery note, for example. And then um, that needs to be um, uh, verified and uh, reconciled. And if there's mismatches, credit notes need to be requested yeah. uh, to, for, for that transaction to eventually balance to get paid. So um, that's where we come in with DocuWare. All that manual reconciliation that happens throughout the process, we, b we monitor, for example, email on Outlook and we import the invoices and delivery notes as they come in. Okay. DocuWare processes and extracts the information what a person would have had to do manually and does the matches for you in eliminating errors in, 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 in costs and in descriptions and in so eliminating and making that um, user an assistant to verifying and confirming 
um, basically on the workflow steps and tasks. So basically what happens is the, the process starts managing the people. It eliminates a lot of the work they would have had to do. Yeah. And um, instead of the people having to manage the process and waiting for people. So this is proactive and, and Far more business efficient. continues mm. where it's not uh, reliant on people to, be, to, to sit and actually wait and do the work. And so with that, obviously, you get the insights. You've got dashboards. You can see what's happening, which PODs we're waiting for. Okay. Um, we can monitor like CISPRO databases, any databases, but I'm thinking of a client where we do that with CISPRO. And uh, so they can see when a POD comes back in that and document process and extracts information, it drops off the list of outstanding PODs, for example. So, um, yeah, and then basically, you know, exporting into, um, at the end of the day, there's a lot of steps in between. Uh, we don't have the time, obviously, to go through all of it, but when you get to the end of your process, you know, then your compliance, like for your SARS retention, for the mm. time that you need to keep your 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 records, um, is managed basically through on uh, by the system um, in until when it comes up for destruction um, and uh, okay. f performing your records management function, exporting in CSV formats to update your other systems or to upload into bank payments for bank payments to your suppliers, all these types of things. And then, you know, you could have your daily payments, cash, uh, your cash payments, which follow a different route out of your yeah. process. And then you can have your weeklies and then your monthlies uh, type okay. of thing all split up. And it just, um, yeah, I think the, you know, our clients, once you start using it, you can't go, you can't go back. It. No, there's no. It sounds an incredibly efficient and very helpful solution to a lot of business process. Yeah. Um, and recently we hosted a, an, an article on our, our website with your CEO of okay. Rika South Africa, Jacques Van Veek. Great person. Yeah, and uh, it was a fascinating conversation with him because a lot of what they was talking about was the passion within the organization. And, and really importantly, I was reading here, um, the fact that the team have achieved this and have been awarded the membership to, and as a status of exclusive DocuWare Diamond Club. That's right. That's phenomenal. And I think... Yes. It, it's it's encouraging for our listeners to see and know about those accolades, but also to see and hear your passion in this. Mm. And that passion, and in closing, is very much in prin in line with the principles behind what how Rico position themselves. Correct. And I think the spirit of three loves mm. is is something that you guys align yourselves very closely yes. to. In closing, could you just wrap up what what sure. what that means? Sure. Yes. Us, uh, um, the listeners. So I would actually just like to take a quick moment to mention, you know, what you mentioned about our Diamond Club membership status yeah. um, for 2023, based on our performance of last year. So, out of 800 plus global document partners, um, Rico South Africa, uh, we we positioned um, globally 11th out of all document partners. So, um, and then within EMEA and APAC, um, we uh, came eighth in uh, global. And then within our RICO OPCOs, the operating companies, um, basically, you know, we came fourth within EMEA and APAC and fifth globally, which includes the well Americas. So for us again, so, you know, for South Africa, and I think that just highlights the um, difference that we are, the contribution we, we're making in, in our country to transform um, digitally and uh, you know um, in that space um, and for us to be so successful against the major world economies if you have to look at the countries we compete with and the partners we compete with mm. and their sizes and for South Africa um, and for Rico specifically for Rico South Africa you know it's, you, you've got a great product but if you don't have the great people then the product means nothing so um, and then bringing it back to um, you know the spirit of three loves um, you know it's you know Rico being a Japanese uh, company and the philosophies of the, the Japanese respected globally. And, uh, you know, it's for us, it's love your, love your neighbor, love your country and love your work. And, uh, you know, DocuWare share those values with us. And um, basically that's what we want to achieve is just, f well, basically for ourselves to uh, continually improve and, uh, you know, to add value to our clients and, um, you know, just, look after the country and, you know, be a positive impact. And mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's uh, yeah, so it's um, really ties nicely into uh, specifically just talking DocuWare here where we obviously have a lot of other lines of business where we have the same impact, yes. Thanks, Marcel. It's, mm. uh, it's been a fascinating conversation and I'm, I'm making some notes here and I see uh, written down here, capture, process and access documents. <laughs>
that's a very simple and high, um, mm. high overview of yes. what ultimately DocuWear does. Right. Um, I think one of the most recent comments a client um, gave us was, um, it's so comprehensive, but it's so basic. <laughs> really? You know, so it's so comprehensive, but so basic. So that it's very important to be user-friendly. You know, I think... Um, I've, we've, I've met with many customers who had bad experiences, who lost a lot of money in, 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 uh, in the investments into ERP systems that just never got off the ground. We were DocuWare, you know, like from a four-user system in Rustenburg to thousands of users across the country for, for, for enterprises. Um, you know, the way that we approach it also is very phased and uh, make sure we get it right in that one area. Get, you, you need to get value from day one, and you need to get working from day one and see your value for investment, and that's what makes DocuWare great for us as well. DocuWare does, because it's such a great product, it actually enables us to be, uh, to be able to add value to a customer straight away. So if a customer right. already gets immediate value, you know, then it's a, it's a relationship that you just build on, and uh, yeah, I think you know, um, the friendships and the relationships and everything yeah. else is, we all want satisfaction out of what we do and want to make a difference. So you know, f- that's where, where, where I get my satisfaction from uh, with regards to my work. I love that, and, I, and your passion comes through mm-hmm. clearly. Marcel Atta, thank you very, very much. Thank you for your time Thanks, today. Thanks, James. Appreciate uh, it. I'm James Erasmus from the TC Impact Series. Thank you very much to all our listeners. Please follow us on our, on our um, website where you'll find today's fascinating conversation and also on YouTube and any of the other channels which is, may, may be your preference. And we very much look forward to engaging further with you and Rico in the near future. Thank you very, very much and thank you, Marcel. Thanks, James. Love you to have you here. Yes, you too. Thanks. Cheers.